can you guess which one of these calculators is my favorite? Is it the feature-packed graphing TI-86? The classic scientific TI-30X solar? Or maybe it's the minimal but very useful TI-108. What in the world? Wait. What? Hi everybody, thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to take a look at one of my favorite calculators, the comptometer. So let's get into it. You've probably never seen one of these before, so I'll give you kind of a little tour through it so you know what we're talking about. At the bottom we have the display, the next row up we have the cutoff levers, and then up here we have the enormous keypad. Each key corresponds to a number, of course, and you'll see that there are two numbers on each key. On the right side we have a larger number, that's the digit, and on the left side we have a smaller number, that's the co-digit. The larger one we'll use for things like addition, and the smaller one we'll use for things like subtraction. Alright, so, oh, the other thing I should mention is each row corresponds to a unit. So, like the first column here is the ones, the tens column, the hundreds, the thousands, and so on, all the way up. So let's do a simple addition first of 600 plus 400. We have the six in the hundreds column, You'll see that the 600 registered, and then we'll hit the 4 in the 100s column. We successfully added 600 plus 400 to equal 1,000. Now let's do subtraction, and this is where things get a little more complicated and a little tricky. So let's subtract 500 from this. I'll just push in the buttons, and it's not going to look like I'm pushing 500, but I'm doing the right thing. <laughs> so let me show you what I'm going to do. And then I'll try to describe to you what the heck is going on. So let's let's subtract 500. To do that, I have to push in this cutoff lever, push co-digit 0, co-digit 4, and I get 500. I successfully subtracted 500 from 1,000. What in the world did I just do? That made no sense, did it? Okay, let's take a look at it. So I'll clear out this result. Let's subtract. Um, let's do a subtraction. 77 minus 23. You got 77 in the register. Let's subtract 23 from that. I'll hold down this cutoff wheel and I'll push in 22. 54. Yeah, you caught me. I pushed in 22. Well, that's one of the quirks about this thing that makes it fun to use. One of the rules is you have to subtract 1 from the first non-zero number of the number you're subtracting. So we're, or the, the subtract, what, what do you call that? I'm not sure. <laughs> so if you're subtracting 23, we have to do 22 because the three is the first non-zero. Let me try to explain that. If we were subtracting 50, you'd have zero, which is a zero. So then you'd go up to the five. That'd be the first non-zero number. So you'd really be subtracting with 40. I know it's weird. So in the case of 23, we're subtracting 22. That's why I punched in 22, I subtracted one. And as you can see, I got the correct result, 54. Let's do one more problem, kind of in the reverse, to show you how that's working. And we'll start off with 77 again. And then this time, let's add 77. Oh, check that out. That's exactly the same problem we did, remember? Because we punched in the small co-digit 2, co-digit 2, which is on the 7 and 7 keys. Well, let's punch in 77 because we want to add 77 to the number we already have in there. You know, 77 to 77. And look at that, 154. If you take away the 1, that's the same answer as we got when we subtracted 77 from 23. I guess it should be because we used the same keys. The only difference is we held down this cutoff lever, which disengaged all these other digits. So you can see that when we disengaged that, we were still doing addition when we were subtracting. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this look at a comptometer. I think it's really interesting. You can also do things like subtraction, ah, pff, multiplication and division on it. It gets a little more complicated when you start hitting division. Uh, we could look into it if you guys are interested. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. Feel free to comment below. 
and subscribe. We'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.